Hey everybody, this is Eric from Less Films. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make this nice, well, it's not really nice, very evil, menacing looking robot arm. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it in After Effects using parenting and using some simple shapes and some simple, simple motion. So, uh, so let's get started. Okay, first we need to make some robot arms. So I'm going to grab my pen tool, make sure the fill is set to black, and I'm going to make an arm here, kind of make it not completely square, so that's pretty cool. I'm um, going to grab the pan behind tool and make sure the anchor point of this arm is where it should be. Okay, so that way whenever we rotate, this thing it'll rotate on that pivot point on that anchor point so I'm gonna call this arm one and to rename a layer in After Effects you click on the layer and hit enter or return and that um, opens that up to be typed in so okay now let's do let's do another arm this one will make it uh, kind of reverse there a little bit different. Okay, grab the pan behind tool. We'll make sure that the anchor point on this one's all the way over there as well. Okay. Doop doo. Just clicking. Just, well, obviously messing up here. It's not an exact science. Well, at least it isn't with me. <laughs> so, that's arm number two. And then we'll go ahead and name it arm number two. Okay, now I need to make a third arm. This one's going to be, I don't know, maybe we'll start out kind of fat and work our way down to a much skinnier arm like that. Okay, not bad. Click it, grab our pan behind tool right there, and make sure that our anchor point is in the proper spot. Okay, now I have three pieces of the arms. All their anchor points have been moved to where I want them because that's where I'm going to be connecting them when I parent them. So let's go ahead and kind of put them all together, just like that. Okay, not too bad. Now I want to parent these arms. Let me rename this layer to arm three. I want to parent them all together, and I'll do this with the pick whip tool, which is this little little joker right here. So let me grab arm number two and parent it to arm number one, and arm number three and parent it to arm number two. Now, anywhere I move number one, those guys will go. So I also want to add some little pivot points here in the shape of circles. So let me grab my shape tool and let me make a circle, make a pretty big circle. Hold down shift to make it a perfect circle pretty good band too. Perfect circle. So, And bring my anchor point to the middle. Stick that right there. And I'm going to call this circle one. Okay. And let me... I want the same size circle. So let's duplicate it by clicking on the layer we want and hitting command D. It's going to duplicate it. Nice. Not too bad. Now, I want to take circle number one. I'm going to bring it above arm number two. It doesn't have to be, but this is going to help you know what, what's parented where visually. Take circle number one. I'm going to parent it to arm number two. And I'm going to take circle number two and parent it to arm number three. Uh, so I'll still I'll click back on arm number one. And you should be able to see everything is parented. Okay. Now, I want to build a bucket to go on the end of this little mouth. It's going to chomp some stuff up. So I'm going to come here to composition, new composition, and I'm going to call this bucket. Okay, 500 by 500 is pretty good. Let me take my pen tool and I'm going to build a rather simple bucket. It's my top layer right here. 
make that kind of straight. It's pretty good. Then I'm going to do another layer. Start back here. And this one will be kind of like that. So they're not quite the same, but they're very close. Uh, moving on up here, make sure they're kind of, they meet at some point. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to take the anchor point of this bottom one because that's the only one I'm going to animate. I'm going to bring it back here to this point. That's going to be my hinge of the mouth itself. So now when I click on the shape layer to reveal the rotation controls, you just hit R. And if I rotate it, there you go. It's kind of a mouth effect there. So I'll take it back to zero. I'm going to start my keyframe. Come forward to about 16 frames. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Come forward a few more frames bring it back up to zero and uh, then just grab these control C command C if you're on a Mac which I am I don't know why I said control <laughs> and we'll do it again so this is what we got right here kind of closes and opens I'm gonna highlight these into F F9 it's gonna make them all easy ease keyframes so you'll notice a little bit different motion they easy ease it's not linear so it kinda has a nice motion to it then I'm just going to take these right here, bring them a little bit further out, and make this last motion nice and slow. So we open them nice and slow, and then we close. And that comes to the end of our animation for the bucket. So the bucket is made. So we'll come back over to the main composition. I'm going to bring the bucket composition into here, and I'm going to scale it down because it's way too big. I'll stick the bucket right here. Now let me add inside the bucket composition, double click down here, I'm going to add a circle over the um, the hinge. So kind of, there we go. Now if we come back over into the main composition, the circle is there. Right now we just have some weird looking arm. Okay. Let me parent the bucket to arm number three. Okay, so now once again if we come back here to arm number one, which everything's parented to, everything moves. So here comes the rotations. So let me take the bucket and the arms here, and let me hit the R button. It's going to open up my rotation, and let me click the stopwatch to get a keyframe on all of them. Then unclick them, that way you're not animating them all at the same time. And then let's just start bringing, bringing all these different things, sort of how they would naturally unhinge, and the bucket itself kind of, oops, aha, uh -huh. on the bucket, you need to change that anchor point, so that way it will pivot at the right spot. Now by changing that, I did not change the parenting, that's the beauty of parenting, so, okay, and let's go ahead and continue to tweak it a little bit more. I kind of want to come in from the bottom and have it unhinged that way. Let me take arm number two back a little bit. Arm number three back this way. And I'll start the bucket kind of just dangling about like that. So grab arm number one, bring it up here. Okay. Now we're going to come forward I see the end of our animations right there. That's our last little spot. So now we'll start. Let's uh, select all these again. And I'm going to set a keyframe. Well, not really. I'm not going to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. Oops. Okay. Now we'll start with uh, arm number one and start to swing it out a little bit like that. Arm number two is also going to begin to swing out. And you just start messing with these these keyframes so you have this nice kind of an unhinging arm. Now my bucket, I want it to uh, kind of rotate up here a little bit. So maybe We'll rotate it up a little bit more. Bring that past 
where I want it to be. So now we're going to come out and it's going to kind of be up there. Then I ultimately want it to end up about right there. And we'll also add another rotation to arm number one to bring it back down. Arm number two is going to kind of snake back a little bit. Arm number three is going to come down a little bit and the bucket is still going to stay focused on whatever it's looking at. And yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let me highlight all these and hit F9 just to give me some easy ease. And that way everything's going to have a nice simple easy motion to it. Okay, and let me go ahead and extend my animation in my bucket composition to this keyframe. So uh just gonna grab these. I'll just bring that out to there, that right there. Let me add a couple more right there, yum 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 yum, and then nice and slow. Come back here to the main composition. All right, and there you have a robot arm. Just by using parenting, making sure your anchor points are in the right spot, you can do a lot of different things. Now this, this could be anchor points of text, other shapes, null objects that are moving around that you anchor a camera to or a light to. There's so many different ways you can do the parenting function. So this is my evil robot arm. <laughs> All right, this has been Eric from Less Films. Stay tuned for more tutorials and just all kinds of shenanigans all right check out lessfilms.com there's some of my video work up there and uh, if you want to get in touch with me just email me eric at lessfilms.com all right everybody have a great day bye